Hey everyone, welcome to the latest episode of The Craft Corner. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a trifold shutter card inspired by one of my YouTube favorites, Split Coast Stampers. As mentioned in previous video, you can go to her YouTube channel and find a link in the sidebar to scorepal.com, which offers a wide range of products from scorepal boards to score tapes to many other things that you might need for your various cards and projects. So today, like I said, we're going to be making the trifold shutter card. I'm going to be making just the template because um, after that, as you'll see, I'm going to be showing you various cards that I've already made that are in the trifold shutter card format, and I've decorated them with ribbon and various things, so I'm going to show you ones that are in progress, but I'm not going to have time to actually do it for you, if that makes sense. But anyway, the first thing you're going to need to do is get a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock paper or scrapbook paper, and I'm going to be using this pattern very masculine, gender-neutral paper, and I don't know, I like the color scheme too. I'm going to be using my pink bone folder that I got at Michael's. I just thought it was the greatest thing ever. It's got gems, it's pink, it's just, it has me written all over it, basically. So, and if you wanted to get this bone folder, by the way, it's about $8 at Michael's kind of steep, but if you're a pink freak like me, you buy pretty much anything pink, no matter how much it costs. So, back to the card. Um, you're just going to make a score at five and a half. And you have to remember that this paper is 12 by 12. You're going to just line it up. two pieces like this. Then you're just going to take your scissors or your craft knife and you're just going to cut down the middle. And I love using my craft knife because it is so versatile. Because I'm just demonstrating it's okay if the edges aren't perfect, but if you're making this as an actual card, you might want to clean things up a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to take my scissors and cut this white bit off of the end here. you have that, you're going to line it up the short way on your scoreboard. And you're going to make four different marks. You're going to make a mark at two, four, eight, and ten. Then I just like to fold them to make sure that they're folded. Make sure that they're scored. Make sure that they're folded. Make sure that they are properly scored where they're supposed to be. Okay, so now that you have that, it should look like this. You should have four different places where there's marks. One, two, three, four, five. Five, I guess. Sorry. I can count. Okay, so after you have that, you're going to put it the long way. The part about her video that I don't like is she tells you to get your paper cutter out and cut from the first line of two to the last line of ten. I don't like that, so I'm just going to tell you to line your paper up 
with your score lines and start at two and start wherever you want your boxes to be. If you want smaller boxes, start further in. If you want bigger boxes, go further out. So I want a box that's probably right around five. So well, that's where I lined it up. So I'm just going to take my score knife or exacto knife, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to start from two right here and go all the way down here to ten. You don't want to start from the top to the bottom. You want to start from two to ten. And then just do the same thing on the other side. And try to stay at the same line that you used on the other side. So then you have a middle piece that looks like this. So your card should look like this. So far. Okay, now you're just going to fold it however you want. Because now that you have this done, you can use this in a variety of ways. For example, you can fold it like this and make kind of like a, uh, I don't know what you would call this, but kind of like a double door card where you open it up like that. Or, you know, you can do it the way that she does in her video. Like this. You can make it like an E. There's so many different ways you can do it. And the one way that I really like, personally, is to take the middle part. Well, it doesn't really work with this paper, but you can take the middle part and make it stand out. So it's kind of three-dimensional. That'd be pretty cool. But let me just show you some cards that I started on. This one I started on, I've used the same type of paper, and I've just decorated the inside with the paper, and I've added various types of ribbon. I've done a um, orange Swiss dot and a satin about quarter inch um, sized royal blue. So that's for this one that I've started. And this one folds like, how did I have it? Folds like this. So that's pretty cool. And the other one I wanted to show you is this one. It's more like a Valentine's Day card or a Mother's Day card. You can see that I've used the roses and the pink and the red ribbon to accent this card. And, you know, just make little fun boxes. And this one is folding like this. I like to keep them all pretty much the same shape, just to avoid conflict. Um, but you definitely can do a lot of different things with these templates, and you will find that if you try them, they are a lot of fun, and you can create many different types out of just one template, which I find really fun and really creative. If you have any questions or want to leave a comment on a card you have created using the same format, don't hesitate to let me know. And until next time, have a great day!